Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I have a fun little project today, uh, another use it or lose it. So I had um, some packaging and if you watch my channel you'll, you will know that I don't really ever use packaging. I, I don't know. I, I haven't, I have saved packaging before and then I end up throwing it away. It's just, um, I you know, when you have a lot of you know, you have a lot of craft supplies that you've collected, you know, and I get a lot of things from thrift stores or wherever. Uh, it's hard to, for me, it's, it seems like it's kind of hard to um, use the junky stuff, if you know what I mean. Like, I'd rather be using my pretty scrapbook paper than packaging that I've saved that really should go in the trash. But I saved some more. I did it again. I saved it. And why, why did I save it? I saved it because it had different, I like the different shapes. Uh, for instance, okay, these are completed here and then we're gonna make two together. And so I was saving it because I like the shapes. So these are the shapes and this is what I did with it. Uh, I decided, because I had it, I've had it most of this for a while and I got just three this past week or so that I saved two, but the other little ones I've saved for, I've had probably saved for a month or so because I, like I said, I like the different shapes. So. Uh, let me show you the first three that I saved that got me going here on this little kick. So this one, look how cute. Uh, it's shaped like this, just a little tag. And it had it had a fold over part here. And uh, I don't remember what was on here originally. But uh, what I did, and this is pretty self-explanatory, so I got part of it done already before the video. But I took the packaging and covered it with uh, I tried to use mostly, I think I used all scraps from my paper scraps on, on these. So I covered it with uh, paper scraps. So like this was, uh, you know, I could flip up. And so I put a paper scrap on the on the bottom here. I put a paper scrap here and, you know, I cut them out just as I was going. And I put another paper scrap back here. You can see this color is different from this color, but it kind of matches as far as the background and some of the colors in here. And then here's another one. I really like the shape of this one. And this one also has a fold over piece. So let me just show you what I did. Because I didn't really know. I was saving these packaging, pieces of packaging or whatever, tags from where whatever they were from, clothes, craft supplies, things like that. And I didn't know what I wanted to do with them. So I had a few of them, you know, in a spot for, like I said, over a month. And then it just dawned on me what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some little fabric, like fabric samples for my journals. So <laughs> I thought, that, you know, in my head, I thought it would turn out cute. And I think they did turn out really cute. So like I said, cover them with whatever paper. If you have, you can make these out of cardstock. You don't have to save your tags. It's just the shape of the tags inspired me. So that's why I saved them because all different shapes, you know, I just thought they were so cute. So, uh, uh, fabric samples so okay, you have your tag your paper your cardstock whatever you're using you cover it with um, and you can make this little fold down too from your card cardstock if you're just going to make some tags that without using packaging or do some of these without using packaging and I might do that because I like these fold over ones I love them I love them so much in fact I could do them with scrapbook paper and not even like you know double-sided scrap of paper that's cardstock and not have to cover the tags with uh, paper but still I was using up things like scrap paper the tags that would otherwise have gone into the trash or packaging and fabric scraps so this is the smallest one and you got the gist there and then I used uh, some fabric scraps so I've got uh, I put the biggest on the bottom and then a little bit smaller and a little bit smaller so now this is a little the idea is that someone, I can put one of these in my journals, with my journals, and someone could, it's got one staple in it, so someone could either, if they like it like this, they just think it's really cute and they want to keep it like this, you could put something under here, right on here, put a little picture, whatever, you know, you want to do under there, but they also could take the staple out, it has one little tiny staple, and then use the fabric scraps, so a number of things, the uses these could be for. So anyway, let me just flip through the little fabric scraps. I cut all of the fabric scraps with my pinking shears too because I thought that would be really cute. 
So here we go with a little flip through of this one. <laughs> I tried to coordinate the um, color a little bit with the, first of all, the packaging and the paper I put on it and then the fabric scraps. So it kind of all looks like it goes together. And then I, on this one, I was able to use my slot punch, which I've shown you before. And I have linked in my Amazon affiliates down below in my description box, but I was able to punch through all the layers of this all at one time. So it did fit over the end here on this one. Okay, next, let me show you the other fold over one. So this is the other fold over one. This is much thicker, like I couldn't get it over the end here. So I punched my slot before I stapled this down and then folded it over. It was a fold over already. I didn't make the fold or anything. That's how it came. So, and you will see some packaging where it folds over and you have a little plastic bag here with craft supplies or whatever you're getting. And so this is uh, common little, you know, packaging. But I just did my little slot punch before. Now I was thinking that if I wanted to, I put a slot punch in all of these and I could put a little ribbon there, you know, a little loop or a little ribbon, a little bow, whatever. That would be cute too. I didn't do it here, but I could. So... Like even in this one that's down here, I could get a little ribbon through there. I could have done it before. It, I could still do it, but I could. it would have been easier to do it if I, if I was going to do it before I stapled it down, of course. But here's a little flip through of these fabrics. See how they kind of go together. The yellows and the reds here. This one has a flower on it. Yellows and reds. And here's the this little scrapbook paper piece with the roosters on it. And yellows and reds that I use on this side. This has kind of uh, the same kind of reds and stuff in it. It's, it's, it's a different piece. I didn't have enough of the rooster to go up here on this scrap. I just had enough to go here and on the back. So, <laughs> so you can really use your paper scraps. And so the next ones here were all from things I got recently. Um, I don't remember what exactly was here, but I mentioned it the other day in my and showed you the. I think I showed you one of the packaging. Uh, the other day and said I was going to do something with this. Well, this is it. So it was just a rectangle like this. And I covered the paper with paper here and here. So this kind of matches. This I think this came from the same paper back, pack, actually, a paper pad. But it was all in my scrap. So this piece and this piece go together. And then here's the little pieces of fabric that I put on this one. Let's start. Well, we'll start with the top here. This is a little quilted, kind of quilted piece to piece, and a little piece here, and there you go. And this one didn't have a fold over, so the other ones had to have a fold over. A fold over. I just put one staple right here in the middle, which I think looks really cute. You can see those really close. Let me show you the one staple right in the middle right here. I put one right here and right here. It almost looks like, uh, you know, it came from the store that way or something, to me anyway. And then here I put two staples, one there and one there. Okay, and the same with this. Let me show you the paper first. Okay, and then here's the, here's the uh, fabric scraps. Oh, I have four on this one. One, two, three, four. So you see the colors, red and yellow. This bug is yellow. <laughs> We've got some reds in this little piece here and then blue. So that, that's how that went. And here's my slot punch up there. Slot punch up there on these rectangle ones. Here's the paper on this one. This was from a magazine, but I just thought it was so pretty. I think this was from Ideals Magazine. And uh, I used it in one of my journals, and this was the scrap left from it. And here's the <clears throat> flower on the back left from that scrap. Isn't it pretty? Here's the flower right here with green leaves. Here's my staples right here. This one I have a piece of, uh, what is it, tool on the top. It's um, blue with sparkles in it. And then this blue and white, uh, white polka dots. And then this one with uh, kind of black with blue here. This was from Asari. And there's the, there, there's the, uh, there the cardstock. So I have two more to finish off. I was running out of scraps to uh, put on here. This one, <clears throat> I was running out of fabric scraps that were wide enough because a lot of my scraps are just tiny. I don't have a lot of 
big scraps, so I actually ran out of scraps that would of fabric that would fit that would be this wide, you know, because I want my bot one on the bottom to be this wide. So I went into my fabric. So here, these are covered with paper scraps. These are were paper scraps. This one has a little red line on the top, which I think is cute. This is like a grid in the background here, brown with a lighter brown grid. Here's my slot punch. This was a piece of paper that I experimented with. It was sewing paper, actually, the, the tracing paper that you use in, when you're sewing. This was a piece of it, and I embossed it. <laughs> I was experimenting with my first embossing folder, and it's so pretty, I had, but I had it in my scraps because it was just a little piece of paper. So I used that on the back, and so it has that texture, and then that's that side on this one. Let's see, I don't want to get these mixed up. I think this was supposed to go with here. And then this one was another scrap and another size too, but this has the same paper. I had enough to cover the front and back on this one. So what I'm going to do, I mean, it's so simple, right? You could sit and do this in front of the TV if you uh, need a TV craft or on vacation. You could take a few things with you. I mean, all I needed was scissors and paper, fabric, my slot punch, and, you know, that's, you know, a little glue to and scissors to cut, but, you know, not too much. So this will fit here. I leave a little bit on the top, so I have that little bit of room on the top here for each one like this okay so let's cut us a piece this has already got a little uh, pinked edge over here I think it may have come like that I don't know if I cut that or not but uh, so I only need it about right to this right to this line right here so I'm going to cut right there and get my pink and shear, pinking shears here cut that I think the pinked edge looks really nice it just you don't have to do that of course if you don't have pinking shears of course you don't have to do that but I just have these so and I, I use these a lot I just like that edge on fabric different fabrics and clusters and things and then so like on the ones with the uh, the top that folded over I didn't really worry about the top you know pinking the top up sometimes I did it sometimes I didn't but um, I do need to measure let's see which do I like either side better than the other I think I like it like this so I need to cut the bottom off here but yeah good little uh, craft for using some of your scraps and uh, paper and fabric so now I need to cut about right here I'll just try to cut a straight line <laughs> which is harder than I think harder than you think okay for me anyway okay so that fits now the next piece is going to be a little smaller i like the graduation of so you can see each color you know as you look at the top <clears throat> you can see each color of the fabric going through okay so uh let's see the next one for this one let's see i think yeah these this one was right here okay so this piece i got out because it i thought i could get a couple different colors here see all the different colors here I thought, well, I have this red piece. I could also get a blue piece and another kind of reddish piece with red in it, uh, wherever I want to cut from. So I did want a blue piece. So I'm going to cut right here. And I'm going to kind of just measure like this. I want it a little, like I said, smaller than the, the bottom one. So about like right here and right here. It doesn't have to be much smaller, but just a little smaller. So you get to see that fabric underneath. I'm just going to cut the corner off here. Is that tall enough? I think a little taller. A little longer, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut here. And we'll see how we did. So I've got a, oops, see how, see what I mean? It is not easy to cut straight. <laughs> Let's straighten that up. All right, now, oh, I this is all going to show, so I do need to pink this edge here. I forgot to do this one. All right, <clears throat> so we've got that one, and then we need to pink all these edges. This has a little kind of sewn around, it's like almost like a selvage edge there. 
Uh, this, I don't know where, I really don't know. I haven't used any of this fabric on anything, so I don't know. It's all, this is all from, this right here is all from thrift stores. This is a sample, the red and white one, or the red and cream one. It's a, fa a Waverly fabric sample. Okay, so there's the next one. See how pretty that is against the red? And you've got a little red right there. So you've got that, we've got that. Just even up the top and then center it so that I can see the fabric underneath a little bit. And then another red piece. So I'm gonna go over here to the red part and just get a piece right here. Well, it's kind of orangey, isn't it? Now that I have it in this light in the other room when I took it out, it looked more uh, more red, but that's okay. We're gonna go with it. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit wider here because I have to cut that side off and it's gonna be a little less wide once I get done with it. Hopefully I'm cutting a straight uh, line here pretty much. And yeah, I like to eyeball it. I don't like to measure, so I usually just kind of make a template or something and do that. Not that I can't measure, just, you know, this is easier for me. If it's easier for you to measure, you can measure, but this way is easier for me, so this is how I do it. <laughs> Hope that's okay. What works for, you know, everybody has to do what works for them, right? Yes. Okay, we're pinking all our edges here. All right, let's see how we did. Or do we need to cut off more? Let's see if our underneath is showing enough. Okay, a little bit off the top and a little bit off the side. Let's see, I think I'm going to leave the green here. So a little bit off the top. I'm going to cut this little bit right here. Uh, about a quarter of an inch and a little bit off the side, just a sliver off this side where we don't have more solid than green. Okay, so that I can have more of the green on here, more variety. <clears throat> okay, and so I can see the little bit of blue underneath. I just want to see if that's enough. Yeah, I think that'll be all right. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to cut this top one too small because I want someone, if they get it, they can use it for a pocket or cut it up into clusters. I like to cut fa scrap fabric into squares and rectangles with my pinking shears too and use them in clusters. So someone could do that with these fabrics. Okay, and that fits on there. Now we could, uh, see I just feel like I need two staples in this one because it doesn't have the fold over part. So this goes has gone through everything so far. So let's see how we do here. I think I got a little bit of, I need to move this one over a tiny bit. Okay, get everything centered. Okie dokie. And so let's get our staples in there and then we'll finish off the other one. And that is all my packaging once I get these done. But since these were so fun, now that I, you know, I just, I think I had saved, saved some before and I never figured out what I wanted to do with it. But I really like these. They're easy to make and I think they're really cute. And here's this one. Aren't they fun? Aren't they just, I don't know. I never, <laughs> I wish I would have thought of this before. But uh, it was just, it's just so much fun. And uh, so, yeah. One, one idea. So I don't have to lose my packaging. I have used it. Okay, so the next pile is this pile right here. So I'm going to start off with this. This is a little piece of like uh, upholstery or something like that. It's a thick fabric too. And I have this green uh, bandana. So I thought I'd start out with start out with some, uh, you know, colors. And this has, well, I think anything will go with this. This has lots of different colors on it. So it doesn't really, you know, matter so much. So again, let's... Let's cut a piece here and see how we do. See how this one turns out. I think this one's going to be pretty with the, like we've got an orangey flower here. Let me just see if that's long enough. Yes, that's plenty long enough. We'll have to cut it down a little bit. 
but now I can't now since I made these I'm really going to be paying attention to my packaging and I think I will try making some of my own um, with cardstock like I said I think that would be fun so look for that video and I'm going to do some with the fold over I really love that folder with fold over with where I can put the like this put the slot all the way through uh, and and uh, have the fold over with one staple. I think those. I think that. I think that's my favorite. So you have to let me know which. If you if you have a favorite, let me know which one it is. <laughs> uh, I really, I really. Uh, I mean, I really enjoy hearing what your favorite is because then it tells me like, you know, gives me ideas on what what you like and what I can do for a video. You know, like someone told me that they look liked my bird tags a certain way one of my bird tags was their favorite and so I made more bird tags like that so so yeah okay now next we need look at that pretty orange on there so the orange flower then we're gonna have a pretty green as contrast and it's a different fabric too so that's fun and this is a big you know regular size whole bandana <laughs> some of these I got from thrift stores and some of these I actually bought at Walmart uh, one time so I don't know if they were on clearance or what but I just they were cheap and they were pretty and I think at the time I was making I don't know what I was doing but I was making something and I thought hmm I really like those I think I could use those but I haven't used them <laughs> so another use it or lose it right okay so let's see if that's long enough yeah, that's plenty long enough. I'm going to really have to cut this down, though. I'm just trying. I'm cutting slow. If, I, if you think I'm cutting slow, it's because I am trying to cut straight lines, even though I'm not succeeding at it. <laughs> so. Okay, I'm going to cut my top and my bottom. Let's see. So I need to cut up. I want to leave this design on there as much as possible. I'm going to cut up to about right there. And got a straight line, Cherry. <laughs> Helps if I watch what I'm doing. Okay. Is that short enough? Yes. And a little smaller in the width, too, if possible. Cut all the sides, yes. Okay, there's our second layer. And you can do more if you want. I just want to make sure my staple goes through, you know. You could sew these too. I thought about that, but I wanted to use my staple. I just uh, wanted people to be able to take, the, take them apart. If I put one of these in my journal, I wanted people to be able to take them apart if they want, you know, and take the staple out. If you sew them, then it's kind of more of a permanent thing. So that's why I didn't sew them. I thought about it and I thought, no, I want people to be able to take them apart. Okay, so that's our next layer. And then we're working with this one here. We've got orange, green, and let's see, what do we want on top of yellow? Or this bright orange, I mean, red, kind of more of a red. Or, yeah, I think I'm going to go with the yellow. It's something different here. Yeah, that'll be a nice contrast. Okay, so let's cut this here. This will be a lot shorter, so I don't need too much. Something like that. See, it doesn't have to be perfect or anything either. I'm just basically cutting out rectangles here, so <laughs> not like it's uh, anything hard to cut out. Not like you're fussy cutting or anything. And if your lines are even crooked, it doesn't even really matter too much. So, just as long as they overlap, right? A little bit. And you can make them all the same size, too, if you don't care about the, you know, kind of like this cascade effect I'm doing here. <laughs> but I'm just so glad to, I don't know, it feels so good to use your stuff, so... If you haven't been using your stuff and you want to use your stuff, you know, give it a try and 
Hope you love it as much as I do. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I think that's good. I think that's good. Okay, let's staple this one. And you don't have to use tiny staples either. I just have, you know, happen to have this, so you can use regular size staples. In fact, if you use a regular size staple on here, maybe you want to just put one in the middle because it's, you know, it's like double the size of one of these staples. So you might not even need to. You can play it by ear, do whatever you want. Put your own spin on it. But here's this one. On here? No, we're good. Pretty, right? Aren't they fun? <laughs> so I hope you like that idea. I love it, and I want to make. I always want to make more, right? I just need the time. <laughs> I just need some time. Is all I need. That's okay. I want to keep my job, so <laughs> got to keep my job for a while. So <laughs> anyway. I just do what I can when I can. Okay, there we go. We made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's all my packaging that I have saved for now. And I love it. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to make some, in the near future, some out of my own. Like, uh, this is my favorite, this little one here. So I want to make some more like this. And that way I can use up a lot of my scraps because a lot of my scraps are this size right here. <laughs> so... Yeah, I think that's the first thing I'm going to do is make some this size. So anyway, let me know which is your favorite and if you're going to make some of these. I would love to hear. And of course, I love connecting with you in the comments and making new friends. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and com comment and hit that bell so you'll get my you know, new videos when they come out. And thanks a lot, friends, and I'll see you later. Have a great weekend.